Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. This is 2 0 iqj So this radio here is the Zygo X5105. It's a HF and 6 QRP transceiver. I picked it up a while back from the Foxton Amateur Radio Rally. Now I've had a few problems with this, trying to get it to update. I did the update and I couldn't get it to update. Four hours playing about a bit, so those who saw my community posts and those who also saw me on Twitter, you saw me moaning about this radio, how I couldn't get it to update. Took it down to the Keebs house and uh, he couldn't get it to update either. Turns out it was a cable issue, so you strip the end of the cable back and it updates no problem. So now I've managed to downgrade the software and upgrade the software. Now this radio is now developing another type of fault and I'm not sure what it is. It's got audio spluttering across the airways. Despite that, I still was able to make a contact over a thousand miles away into Slovenia here from the UK using the QRP 5 watts. But it doesn't matter what antenna I use, the ones, I'm, the ones I use for the contacts was this one here, which is a T-Way T -way, T -way radio, uh, 27 megs antenna, and that works on the Albrecht handheld, that'll also work on the Midland 42, and then the CB or 10 meter handheld, the BNC plug. Now thinking this antenna was the issue, I bought another one similar, which is another T-Way radio, and this one, again, for 27 megs, as you can see, probably see there, but you should be able to use it, no problems, on 10 meters. The one I made a contact with was this one. If I can plug them antennas in, I can plug the telescopic and um, the rubber duck antenna for this radio, so it's the Albrecht 2090 ASF. I can even plug in a dummy load, and I'm still getting high SWR readings. So I plug in the um, 50 watt dummy load, which goes up to 5 gigs, key up with the radio, and I'm getting SWR issues. So let's take a closer look. Okay, so I've gone handheld with a camera. I've just placed the Zygo up on a stool there, and the antenna I've got is this one here which is a new one out of turbo. If we turn the radio on, you see that one, 28, 550, give it a key up, you see there. Yes, WR, it's very high, it's at two. Now, the bar graph at the top there was going up and down like crazy, like you on sideband, means actually on FM. So let's swap the antennas over. We'll swap it over to the other one and then we'll see what it's like. So I'm thinking it's a faulty antenna or it could be a faulty antenna socket actually on the radio. So it needs to be looked at. So let's have a look. So that one's it's gonna go on. There's an ass in there. Let's extend the antenna up. There you go. So there's a new antenna on top. Let's check it. Audio, audio. You can see there, it's stuttering on the audio. I'm not saying, I'm not only keying up on narrow FM, so it shouldn't be doing that. But yeah, the SWI is nice and low. But it's giving me stuttering audio when I transmit across the band. Now I could change that uh, to sideband. Audio, audio, check, 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 audio. Audio, check, 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 check. And nothing's really happening on sideband. Again, that was splattering audio. So despite the audio issues, I was still able to make a contact. This is how I got on. Two E zero IQJ walkie talkie QRP. Uh, Bravo Fox November. Thanks, Wayne. Two E zero BFN. Thank you very much. Fifty nine with me over. Coming through nicely, Wayne. Enjoy opening seven three. Bye, Sugar. Five one David Extra. 2E0 IQJ QRP portable. You should spell your call sign, man. You are QRP. You are not so strong as you think. Give me the call. Yes, 2 Echo 0. Italy, Italy. Queen, Queen. Japan, Japan. Okay, 2 Echo 0. India, Queen, Japan. QRP, thank you. 58858. Uh, eight, eight. I think 
Yes, I know, there's something wrong with the radio. Okay, you're five nine. I'm handheld walkie talkie. Seven threes, good luck. Okay, hi, yeah, it's five nine, thank you very much. Seven eight three, thank you. CR five one David, next trap. So we go to Zygu, X5105, HF and six, mobile QRP transceiver. I did make a contact, although he said the audio was spluttering, and I found out later it was spluttering, but now we're developing the antenna fault. So I'm thinking that these antennas here are putting a lot of stress on the antenna socket, so maybe that's got to be looked at. Uh, Watch another video from another YouTuber, and he put a spring on over his one to make, the an to make it a bit stronger. I tried some springs, some compression springs I got from Amazon. They were no good. I even tried some O-rings. So when the antenna goes on, we'll put this one on there. So the O-ring I was going to put around the top there to stop it from moving, because at the moment, as you can see that, it's loose like that, and that might be causing the problem with the uh, socket, making it come loose. Let's try again with this one. This one is a bit tighter, but we're still getting the SWR issues, and it's telling us that we've got high SWRs. But I know the antennas are both working, because I place them on this uh, transceiver, and they work just fine. So I'm thinking, got a socket problem on this radio. Now it was a bit loose, the top there, so I'll just tighten up that screw. Maybe I've over tightened it, I don't know. If you know what could be causing the issue, causing it to audio splutter, I've downloaded, downgraded the firmware, I've upgraded, upgraded it to the latest firmware. If you know what the problem could be with the audio stutter, whether it's the mic socket on there, I've tried it with the little internal microphone, I've tried it with the external microphone, and I'm still getting the audio stutters on there. I've adjusted all different settings, mic bias on, mic bias off and so on, but I'm still getting the audio stutters across the airways. As you saw earlier on in the video, when you key up on Narrow FM, it's the meters going up and down, like a yo-yo, like you would do on sideband. When I came up on sideband, I wasn't able to get anything out of it, maybe because it was too far away from the little microphone there. Anyhow, post in the comments below if you know what's wrong with this radio, or any suggestions I can try. Thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next video. This is 2E0 IQJ. 7-3 for now.